All right, what's going on, guys? Volky here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys another commentary over some more Black Ops 2 gameplay. The gameplay, there's no clip in it, but I do choke a nuclear, so the score at the end is really good. So uh, make sure you're paying paying attention to that. But basically, if you guys missed my last video, um, I explained how I got into sniping, and I said if the video got 55 likes, then I would make a video explaining how I got into Envy, or basically my journey to getting into Envy. And that video got, I think it's 85 likes now. It, it got 55 on the first day, which is amazing. So I just wanted to thank you guys really quick for that. And uh, obviously, you guys wanted to know my journey to getting into Envy, so that's what this video is going to be. At least part one. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a two-parter, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get as much done in this gameplay as I can, and if, if I don't finish, then obviously there'll be another part. So, basically, I ended off in the last video when I got my Dazzle. So I had a Dazzle, and I had it for about a year. No joke, like an entire year before, uh, and I, I didn't even use it. So uh, I eventually ended up selling that on eBay or something, or Craigslist, I don't remember what it was. But I sold that, and I ended up, I ended up uh, getting a PVR. And, you know, I first started sniping in Modern Warfare 2. But I never actually went for clips, you know, because clips really weren't the thing back then. That's not what everybody did. Everybody just sniped for fun. And what was really fun to me and probably the most fun I've ever had um, playing Call of Duty was, you know, sniping and search and destroy on Modern Warfare 2. And uh, there, were no, there was no trick shotting or anything back then. It was just the, the most fun thing to me was being in a clutch situation like a 1v3, 1v4, and having a sniper and winning the game. That was like the most fun thing to do with me, especially with a group of friends. So, uh, yeah, I ended up selling my Dazzle and getting a PVR, and, but when I got my PVR, again, it was about another year before I started recording, like, to post stuff on YouTube. I really just used it for, like, game battles disputes in uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, and then uh, competitive sniping back on Modern Warfare 2, because I did that before I started going for clips, and that was all, you know, that's what I did back then. Um, but as soon as Modern Warfare 3 came out, that's when I started taking this all seriously, and I actually started going for clips. You know, I wasn't very good, but... uh I was enjoying myself. I liked uploading. And uh, I actually did a M48-3 recruitment challenge. And I didn't get in. I got rejected. I didn't do too great either. I had a lot of Barrett clips, you know. But that was like my first recruitment challenge I went for. Um, get, did, not getting in didn't discourage me or anything. It kind of motivated me. And most of the clips that I got for that, I actually made my very first, um, my very first uh, big project, I'd say. I made a montage called Resolution. And uh, I thought of that name because it came out January 1st of, I don't remember what year, 2000, 2012 maybe? Yeah, it was 2012, January 1st. And uh, yeah, it was called Resolution, and I think it came out pretty good. It was my very first, you know, big edit, my very first, all my clips and stuff. So I was very proud of that montage, and I plan on doing another one. But uh, I, n I actually never got around to it, and I don't know why. It just never happened. So uh, yeah, from and then, you know, I had a bunch of good clips for Resolution. And I ended up joining a team with a bunch of close real life friends and this team was called AV or uh, Artistic Village and like I said it was it was the leader I didn't know in real life but I had a lot of friends in in AV um, one of them was Verzu and if you guys don't know Darth Verzu is one of my best friends in real life so yeah he was in that team and we both joined that team and it's a pretty cool story from there on out the, the AV ended up um, they didn't leave, but I, I ended up leaving them. I had co-leader, but I ended up leaving because I just I wasn't having fun in that team anymore. And there, I don't know the sky chat. Uh, anyways, that's not important. Um, when I left AV, I was solo for a little bit, and then I remember I wanted to get something edited for my channel. And since I wasn't in a team and my editing wasn't that great, um, I looked on YouTube for some editors, and I found someone named Dutch Joey or D Joey. Um, he was in Mass Destruction, and at the time, I didn't know he was co-leader of Mass Destruction, honestly. I was just looking for an editor, and I found him on YouTube. Didn't realize his past and all that. Like, he's edit he but at that time, he edited for, like, Rockstar, who was in VR at the time, and he edited for a lot of big-name people, and I was literally a nobody. But, uh, I sent him some clips, and I was like, you think you can edit something for me? And if you know Joey, he doesn't edit for people he doesn't know, or, and he's always busy, you know, he's never free. But I, I, I lucked out or something because I ended up messaging him at the perfect time. He wasn't busy, and uh, he, he told me, these are the words he said. He said, I normally don't edit for people I don't know, but the clips were just too good to pass up. And I'm, I'm not making that up. He literally said that to me, and I'm not trying to sound cocky. So, uh, yeah, he started editing that for me. And uh, he had about, I'd say, a week. And after a week, um, he actually had to start editing a team Taj for Mass Destruction. So that edit never actually got finished, but uh, it did help me get into Mass because about a week later, five or six people ended up leaving Mass Destruction, 
And, uh, yeah, I was like, Joey, you know, you've seen my clips and all that. Do you think there's any way I'm good enough to join or, or anything, you, you know, you can help me help do to get me in mass? And uh, he was like, yeah, I'll see what I can do. So he ended up ta talking to JW, who was the leader of Mass Destruction. And, uh, yeah, and JW actually let me in. And this was while the recruitment challenge was going on. So I didn't have to do the recruitment challenge. And I owe a lot to Joey. Without Joey, I'd still be a nobody. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, the gameplay just came to an end. So I'm going to have to end this video here. Stay tuned. Get this video to 75 likes. I know we can do it because we got 85 on the last one. And uh, if you guys want to see part two, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys do because obviously I didn't finish the story. But yeah, I got to end this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.